What's going on everybody? It's Electric Enzo here and today I'm going to be analyzing my Jungle Gym course run. I've talked about this in my previous videos before. It's a really interesting course. I'm going to be analyzing stage 2 then stage 1 because my stage 2 is a lot more interesting and let's just hop right into this video. Okay so right here I'm going on the first obstacle. I get that pretty easily. I mean it's not too tough but then on the devil steps I felt like going like this because I felt like if I were to dyno or skip one, it would go too fast. But I got that pretty easily as well. I had a pretty quick time going into this. But the next obstacle, I messed up. So what happened was, um, I jumped, and then I hit the trampoline with one foot, then the next foot, and then I just tripped. So you get one retry on this course, and I took advantage of it, and I stopped, and then I got to the ring. So basically, I made it. I took advantage of that, and I got through the obstacle on my second try. But now I didn't have a redo left, so that could hurt me later on. You'll find out what happens next. So now I'm going across the board. This one wasn't too hard. But what we have to do is once you get to the last board, you have to reach for the cannonballs and go across Cannonball Alley. So that's the tough part about it. But it wasn't like the hardest thing ever. I reached through it pretty quickly. And then on the cannonballs, I made a pretty good save. On the bananas right here, you'll see in a second. I'll just wait for it to get there. Yeah, so I'm reaching up. And I grab it, and then um, I put my hand around it, and I grab it on the other side, and I make it. That was really scary. I thought I was going to fall, and everyone was like, whoa, how did that happen? So that was interesting. But then I got through the rest of the cannonball like, pretty easily with not too much trouble. Cannonballs are something that give me trouble, so I'm happy to do that. And then on the bounce, uh, I knew, okay, don't make a dumb mistake because you don't have your retry left, and I got it. Now this is the craziest part. The wing nuts. So, right when I was about to get to the last, next one, I went way too high. No, I didn't go way too high, actually. I just shot it too hard. But my contact fell out. I don't know if you know this, but I wear contacts. So, the last two obstacles, I do without vision. If you wear contacts, you know how tough it is to do stuff with one eye, like with one eye being able to see out of, because it just messes up your whole perspective. It's better to have both of them out. But I couldn't take it out in the course because my hands were dirty. So, I'm going across it. I took more swings than I should have. But I got up there, not too tough. But then on the dismount, I took one more swing than I should have and got way too far. And I fall off the edge. That was so scary, I thought I was done. But apparently I was still in. And think about it this way. I only lost by seven seconds. And if that hadn't happened, if I hadn't fallen off the box, I would have won the whole competition. So that's kind of sad. But the last obstacle was chain lane. You have to slide him across and then move to the next bar and then get to the dismount. The dismount was so hard to get to because the cane slid. So I'm going across the canes and I'm thinking, I need to get this. I, I survived going my contact out. I survived falling off a box. I survived the first thing. This is a crazy run. I can't end it with a fall on the last obstacle. So I'm kicking. I'm getting a really good kick. Getting a big kick. And then I land on the tire barely. I hold my balance and I finish the course. I was so excited and I got third place. Now here's stage one. I was running side by side. Uh, against someone who goes to the gym and I tried to reach for the rope too quickly and I kind of messed up but it's fine because I still got there fairly quickly the next obstacle is the rings to the uh, the poles and basically I took way too many swings on the on the final one I should have taken only one swing and then gone but I'd never tried these obstacles before since they were set up the night before even though it's my home gym they were just set up so I never tried them but I got through it still and I went across the balance fairly easily. But then the battery ram, this is the obstacle that so many people had trouble on. People had trouble dismounting. The obstacle wasn't too hard, but the dismount was so far away that if you grabbed it and slid back, you would slide all the way back down. So you had to get to the right point on it. And I almost fell there. I was so scared, but I got it. So the next is the rumbling dice. She got to reach up, keep pulling up. It wasn't too bad, but it, it was pretty tough. I mean, it was in, it hurt your arms a lot, but... They were telling me to go one more, but I wanted to save time, so I just reached towards it and went. And uh, I pulled through and went for it. Now I sprinted towards the spider climb and just went up it, and you'll see what happens. All I do is touch it, and I finish. That was a great run. I love that. I actually got first place on stage one, so I got to run last on stage two. 
but unfortunately, I did not get first in the competition, but I still got third. It was great competition. I loved it so much. It was one in July. If you all do live near Tampa, Florida, Pinellas Park, then you guys should go over there and go to that competition. If you just want to try Ninja out, it's super fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. I love making these videos and I want to keep doing it. And let me know down in the comments what you'd like to see next. I have a new video. My birthday is coming up and I'm doing a bunch of stuff for it. And I'm going to make a vlog for that. That's coming out soon. And let me know if you want to see more vlogs in the future. And I'll see you guys in the next one.